Take a break and join us. Gold Town, the Pahrump Nugget, and Lakeside Casinos. As a country, what's become clearer and clearer over the last two weeks is the pandemic is affecting cities very, very differently. Um, right. You have New York, you have Detroit, uh, Chicago a bit, Boston really struggled. My own institution had to close for beds for a few uh, hours over the weekend. In, in the high intensity places, um, uh, New York, Detroit, Boston, how, how is it, do you think those cities are doing? You know, given the circumstances and the challenge that they have been thrust upon them, Howard, I think they're doing really very, very well. I think what people don't appreciate, unless you live through it, is what it means during that critical period when you transition from the linear to the exponential phase of an outbreak. You know, if you have the opportunity to be able to do uh, containment before you have to essentially switch over to mitigation, and you have the capability, the resources, and the luck <laughs> to be able to put it down before it exponentially expands, then you're going to be in good shape. But if you're in a situation like New York, where given a lot of aspects of the city, the dense population, you know, the subway system and things like that, and then all of a sudden you find that you're just playing catch up, um, you know, the way they handled it, you know, given the stress on them, I think was quite admirable. I mean, I think Governor Cuomo has done a really, really good job under amazingly difficult circumstances. Hopefully, and this is one of the things that we're, 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 we really feel that would be, we need to stay ahead of, is as other metropolitan areas start to be getting challenged with the possibility of that exponential increase that they implement the resources that they have to contain it. I think the mitigation that we're going through, the idea that we said the entire country should have a baseline level of following the guidelines of physical separation, even if they have not yet had a major spike, was really an important recommendation. And thank goodness, many locales have done that. And I think that's the reason why they're in, in good shape. In other words, to almost stay a step or two ahead. Don't wait until you get into the exponential phase to mitigate. Mitigate before you get there. And that's why I think what you're going to see, although I'm always very conservative in my cautious optimism, I think we're going to start to see soon, within the next week or so, kind of a plateauing out and a turning around. Uh, we got to be cautiously optimistic, mm -hmm. not be overconfident, but I think we're going to start seeing that. The real challenge is if we do then try, which everybody's talking about now, to get back to some degree of normality, not turning a light switch on and off, that's not going to happen, but some degree of normality, we better make sure that we very aggressively and vigorously do not allow the resurgent of a case or two or three or 10 or 20 get out of hand. We've got to jump all over that so we don't have, you know, recurrent peaks because if we do that, we're just going to be playing a sawtooth game instead of one and down, which is what we want to do.